Welcome to Adapt GA4 video series. We help you learn GA4 and start using it more. These are quick bite-sized videos in which we explore Google Analytics 4. In this video, the topic is the revenue, sales and transactions report for e-commerce stores. Without further ado, let's get started. I'll just use Google's GA4 demo account um, for this video. And as you can see here, the e-commerce setup has already been done. Because of that, I could see the revenue here. If you are not seeing revenue on your reports, that means your integration, your GA4 e-commerce integration might be interrupted. We have another video for that in which you can troubleshoot your GA4 e-commerce integration. That is valid for all the reports that I will show now. So we can see the revenue here, but then we should go to monetization and e-commerce purchases. Before we do that, if you are seeing a different left menu, then I have another video in which we can customize your left menu and change uh, the way you see it so that we can put this, the most important reports in your dashboard also. Monetization and e-commerce purchases report will show the products and then the revenue. So this will show the revenue by products, right? And we could also change it here and we can see it by category too. Um, so this is one of the first e-com reports that we check, of course, product level performance. Another thing we could check is the user purchase journey. This is the simple purchase funnel. You could see the steps before people purchasing, simply e-com funnel. And now I will show you this uh, custom report in which you can see each transaction, transaction IDs and the sources of those transactions. For that, we will make a custom report. I'll just click explore, click blank. And here I'll name it transaction ID purchases from dimensions. I'll just add transaction ID. That's great. And then from metrics, I will add revenue item revenue, or maybe we could say the Google analytics for G for recently changed it. There were different revenue metrics here. Now it's more simplified. So we have product revenue. When I double click to both of them, now the transaction IDs and revenues will come here. So you can see all your transaction IDs that are counted by GA4 here with this report. One other thing, let's make it more interesting. Where do these sales come from? Let's add also source and medium. Let's say source and medium, import, double click. And now we will see each transaction ID and next to that, we will see the source and medium for that specific transaction ID. So this is how we can check transactions, order IDs, transaction IDs in GA4, as well as a couple simple e-com reports. Of course, there are many other e-commerce reports that you could use and you should be using actually. For that, I have another video. Uh, it's called GA4 e-commerce reports. I would strongly recommend you to check this one because in this video, I guess I show you around five plus deep and important reports that might be useful. Apart from that, if you find this video useful, you could consider signing up to our GA4 training page. Here we add all the GA4 training resources we create with the most up to date. And we also send email to our subscribers. These are completely free resources for the community and it will always remain free. Here you can sign up for the training so that you receive the most up to date information. And also you can see our latest videos or educational resources. I hope it was helpful and see you in another video.